Welcome back to Pops and Pilots. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4. We're still playing as Genova or Yenova. I think I decided on saying Yenova. Uh, like Yennefer, you know. Um, we are going for the Austria Hungary achievement in which, well, Austria? No, Australia. Australia. Important, important difference there. Australia Hungary achievement. We have to form Australia, duh, and uh, subjugate Hungary. Duh, as you do as Australia, of course. Um, as far as I understand, we are not allowed to settle down yet. Not allowed to take any land, I think, before we get that done. Um, so, because we have to form a horde, and I think for that we have to be migratory. That's that's the uh, basis I'm operating on here. We're over our diplo relation limit because I didn't realize we only had two diplo relations. I just don't want to break any of these alliances necessarily for now. So since we're, I mean, we don't make any dip because we're horrible as a leader. Um, I'm still accepting the loss of the one because uh, I think it's better. I think it's bad, but it's better. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, we did a war, one of war trips that's ago against the Onk Thim and their friends. We uh, milked them for some monarch points and some money, and we might just come back again. They still don't seem to be going high on the force limit, so crushing folks again might just be might just be possible. And also, they're only being in the Yolngu this time, so crushing them must be even easier. Truce with us ends in 88, so quite a while to go, unfortunately. Uh, what else? We also have a rivalry against the folks, but we also have a truce until 88, so that doesn't really help. So, I think the truce against Yolngu is a bit shorter. 86? 85, even. Um, but I don't know that I actually have a Causa Spelly against them, do I? I? Do not. So, eh. you know. Definitely want to invite some people to offer. Ooh, we actually, how are we at 8 force limit? I guess we moved out of Bayali. Mm -hmm. This is so weird. We have a plus 5 on our force limit. Our starting force limit was 4. Is um, Devastation, does that in Packed force limit. Is that what's going on here? Uh huh. Eh. I sort of thought, and then I didn't see it. Supply limit, sailors, manpower. No, it doesn't. No, it does not. That's weird, right? If we have a minimum of four, which we had before, <laughs> before, and we had less development then. And we have plus five from our building. How do we have eight? Base plus six. What is this math? Oh, we have reduced force limit thanks to our native tribeness. Somebody of you probably put that in the comment section. I didn't read it yet, I assume. Uh, because we're a native tribe. We're a native tribe. Who would it say that? Let's check that again. So we have a base of plus six, which makes sense, and we're getting plus 6.4 from Wulgukaba, which is five, I assume, from the building, and then 1.4 from the rest. And then the reform native tribe is giving us minus 30. The Reform Native Tribe. We don't have the Reform Native Tribe. I feel like our reforms are just utterly fudged up. Right? We got the weird Scottish brewery thing when we were here. And now we have Native Tribe as a reform? What's going on? Uh, Google. Google to the rescue. Q for native tribe. Not native council, not Cherokee. Not actually native tribe. Mm, seems hard to Google. Native tribe. Finds native council again. 
Help native tribe, how do you graze? Hmm. Reform. Native council, native reform way too quickly. How to advance the primitives. Native. Care easily embraced institutions. Yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada. Yada, yada. Force limit. Force. It's a fortified house. Fortified house, which we did build, which gives us a plus five. There's land force limit modifier from tier three. Doesn't say anything. Where's that modifier from? I'm utterly confused. Tribe, right? But this has nothing about force limit. Country modifiers. Uh, force limit, military force limit, or what is, is it called? Land force limit. Oh. Where's L? KLM. And land, 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 resort. Maintenance, land, force limit, minus 30. Reform, native tribe. Okay, so this doesn't tell me nothing. It might be just some inherent thing. But I do certainly wish it would tell me somewhere. Okay, the government reform native tribe blocks you from changing your government rank. Okay, so native tribe is a thing that we have, that we are, which will change once we have the agricultural revolution, right? So maybe this just inherently somehow gives me native tribe i don't hacking know we know we have minus 30 we know we're over foster but i think i'm accepting it i don't like losing the money for it but we're making decent dosh anyway so that's gonna be gonna be all right Whee! it's probably gonna be all right let's say yes uh tech wise we're about to take dip tech again soon but our neighbors are nice to advance here to give us some neighbor bonus even without feudalism I think it still won't allow us to build any proper ships. I assume that's also because of our native tribeness. Which is a word, I'm sure. <laughs> What's our plan here? I wish I had a plan. I can move back into Bayali, which is not producing wood. For reasons unknown. Um, but... It's just a matter of time. Warring against a matter of time. Finding Federation friends is a matter of. Um, I mean, mostly time, I suppose. Mujan Dairy are kinda, kinda getting there. It's a shame that trust is so useless. Fire trust being one point is really not particularly helpful here. Maybe we use their our favors to reduce the opinion of the Kamindalori, or whatever they're called. Who are the Camindalori? You. Camilla Roy. Camindalori. Where to go here? I think I have a bunch of favors with you, right? 53, in fact. If I were to go and say, um, favors, 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 reduce opinion of. Dang it. Our opinion of Camilla Roy is at least 75. So we like the Camilla Roy. Because they improved relations with us and now we can't break. Yeah. Uh, any amount of ducats, not really. Soldiers, doesn't help. We could just buff our trust even more. I'm just not sure. That's worth much. Hmm. These human relations should not have been nice. And we got a lot of money points out of that. We got the power production and we got the 300 just flat, which is excellent. But I feel like we need to do more to get ahead. Ooh, speaking of doing more, I... Oh. Really? Hmm. 
No, right? I don't think we're limited by building slots here, are we? It's not even showing building slots. So why am I not allowed to build any of these things? This game is confusing the heck out of me. And it could be building slots, right? Maybe it's just the UI that's bad. There, there we go. Three out of three building slots. Okay. City plus two, development plus one. I think we get another building slot at 20. So that's actually quite a way to go. So we're paying heavily for having that fortified house. It's still good. What does it mean for our money, though? It means that we're not saving up money for more buildings. And I can't build ships to make me money. So we should be definitely running advisors. Especially since they're half price. By nature. Not gonna run dip one, we're pretty high on dip. Question is inflation reduction, do we care? We do care. Let's run the Adoni Orad here. The Orad. Tempted to also run a mill guy, although we're quite high on mill. Oh, with the second institution coming in here, it's gonna be so expensive to get standardized pikes. It's not like a nutty tech. What else are we doing, right? I think we just grab um, A plus one here. Although they're both pretty shite. I could spend a few ducats to reroll these for something more useful. I think I actually will. Let's reroll two. Feeling lucky here. Or unlucky. If I was feeling lucky, I would probably have just two-rod one. <laughs> See, discipline. It's actually something to be said about the manpower modifier. I think right now we're fine. We are. But we may have to swap to the manpower person if ever we get the... Um, our friends are stronger again. But for now, I think I want to go and grab a discipline person. Maybe. Might not even be right. Because we're not fighting a war anytime very soon. So, oof. This is such a weird, such a weird start. It must be one of the weirdest starts I've ever had. And we had that long, slow start when we played as... I forget the... How do I keep forgetting the name? The Jewish people released from Ethiopia. And I don't remember. Uh, we took like three episodes to ever get anything rolling there before we even got our first war. But still, that felt more felt more like we had a plan. It was tough to do. Um, we didn't really get there. I can't spend manpower, right? Should be able to spend It's max manpower. I'm pretty sure it's max manpower that counts, not extra manpower. So I'm going to use the military as work here, workforce here. Check this again and we should still be okay. And we are good. So it's going to be our first advancement then. Uh, for an inventor. 50 Artmen. Uh, yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, what do we do here? Federal Constitution. Oh, that's the last one. Federation Offensive Wars. I don't think I need. Favor growth. Or oh, favor growth. That's not cohesion growth. Don't think I care about that much. Tribal death growth I do. Joint grain depose. 10% goods produced is okay. Attrition for enemies. Nee. Settle cost. We're not settling. I think it's really the joint grain deposit we want, and everything else is kind of secondary. And then we just want to rush these government reforms as much as we can. They're based on local autonomy, right? 0.5 from the reform native tribe, which is not a reform I have. And then 25% extra from those uh, oral traditions. Okay, so it's not at all based on autonomy if you're a micro tribe. Let's see. Let's see. I wish it would tell you these things somewhere. This is a native tribe. Okay, maybe it does say there somewhat, but it doesn't say what it does. Ah, Truce to Yongu. Ooh, an age. I keep forgetting about the age at the start of the game. Determinate rival. Can't really do any of these other things. 
Uh, do we care? AE, no. Claims boarding claims, no. War taxes, kinda not. Cavalry to infantry ratio, no. Colonies, not really. Combat bonus on terrain of capital. I mean, it's kind of funny because we can move our capital and then have combat bonus in different places. <laughs> I don't know that that's actually good. But it would right now give me a bonus jungle, which would help me attack the Onk Thim. It's such a <sighs> meaningless modifier, really. Adaptive terrain. Like, 10% AE is good, we just don't need it here because we're not AEing. Transfer subject can be extremely good when you. when this is what you need. War attack is pretty bad. Cavalry infantry is actually pretty bad. It's unlikely that you're able to just afford that many horses early on in most situations. High level colony is insane if you're actually colonizing. Just, just nuts. And then there's this <laughs> Ottoman guns. Portuguese 50 settler increase. I mean, these I've never had one of these, I don't think. These are so crazy, except for the Danish subject loyalty. Because it makes some sense as Denmark, but still. Ugh. Okay, so I don't super care. What do I take, though? Is it just combat terrain? This really don't matter. I think it is. Yeah. Sad. Sag, some people say. Okay, we did get our humiliate rival CB against the Yongu now that we don't have a choose anymore. Could immediately attack them. Which gives me another go at the Yong them. That's probably good, right? May or may not call in Larakia. Do all that I have to. Alright. Money to the troops, please. Rip. Which makes me actually lose money per turn. That's crazy. See, they're not giving me money anymore. That's, if that isn't reason for war, I don't know what is. Uh, my terrible leader, do you want command? <laughs> Even terrible at command. Uh, let's try... I guess Jara Arunta is leading us to war. Uh, do we take Miltek? I think we do. Yeah, swap to better infantry. Um, should have done that earlier, of course, because now... Holy fudge, that's a lot of shock. <laughs> no morale whatsoever. What is even a morale? But all the shock pips. Just crush people? This must be the most imbalanced unit I've ever seen in this game. No clue if that's good. What does it mean for me? I think I want to try that out. We have a discipline multiplier at least. It's not a lot, admittedly. <laughs> gonna go with the Richard Warrior. Just rawr in. They're gonna run away very, very quickly. But maybe the enemy's dead by then. And they will be dead. They won't have any lost any morale. They will just be dead. I think that's how, what that's telling me, mostly, which is just nuts. All right, uh, I think we do declare here. I do declare, Yongu, I have humiliated rival, not, not trade conflict. Um, and I think I will not call in my friends for now. So I have high hopes of crushing these and then being able to do the rest. We have that bonus for jungle terrain. Stop. Oh, but they got to run away. If they run away. Does that mean I want to swap? How's the tech three, tech two? Wait, what? Tech five? Surely we're crushing them, even without help. It's annoying that I now can't really. I don't want to leave a guy here to defend the place. How to stop them from rebuilding there? Because um, I think I need all the folks to be or have the best impact here. Now you're gonna leave on the 10th of April. I'm gonna arrive on the 8th of May. Wow, that's a long trip. But if they wanna hide on Tiwi, did Tiwi just join that war? 
Oh, declare they're open. No. No, they did not. Okay, that didn't go as planned at all. We got the minus one from crossing. And apparently our insane, they rolled really well. So did we, but we have extra morale. We have the extra tactics and we should be having the pips on our side. We just don't have the numbers anymore. How did we lose the numbers so quickly? Maybe I misinterpreted how these pips work. Um, I'm gonna call my friends. See if they, oh, did I call in the wrong people? I did, probably. Fudge. I forgot that we have multiple friends now. I'm gonna call you in. They're not even coming to help, come on. We're winning on the morale? Barely. Okay, I mean, we got all flank there, that's, which is rough. Shock damage received, reduced, is nice. It is... Somewhat scary, but how do I do this one? Um, let's do it the other way around. Is that right? Yes. And then you leave. You are allowed to be attached to. And they're bringing a three siege pip guy. If they are gonna come and help, that siege should be very quick. I think I did call in the TV there. Yeah. Not by design. Hmm. Obviously running that thing at speed five was a mistake, so I couldn't see what was going on at all. But I am unsure as to whether this was a problem of my weird unit choice or just bad luck or something else being outflanked. Bonus morale and force mid with body fire is neat. Don't really care about, oh, we can't settle down, right. So Warband uh, allows migration, can graze. So it's either Warband or it's this. So travel development growth, which is passive, good. Or the war. I'm gonna go with seasonal travel, even though we're currently at war. Let's do this. Uh, I assume we're still a native tribe. We're still getting the minus force limit thing. Um, but I guess that's that's just that. Let me ask the what's your name? Larakia. Hey Larakia, can you siege this place? I might get them to not attach there. No, it didn't. I'm not super looking forward to fighting these guys again while I don't have any troops. They have no morale, but they will outflank me like crazy again. Well, they can't outflank me more than they already were, actually. You're running away. 30th of August, 12th of September, 23rd of August. Mm -hmm. Oh, 30th is bad. Should definitely cancel and remove. Ooh, maybe a bit slow. Luso admin guy or might stay loyal or not? <laughs> loyal or not, here I come. Are you just running away? That would be great. Okay. And you are still running away. Gonna grab one guy, put them on that place. Attachable to, yes. Oh, we, we got the thing where we got to see their stuff. Hooray. Oh, ooh. you locked in yet? No, good. They rebuild the unit, it needs to be crushed. I wanted to just send a small stack there to um, prevent them from building reinforcements. But clearly that wasn't good enough. It's so slow to move around here. OK, 
kind of wishing we had the movement speed thing now. I think once Wulnga is down, Wulna, we have no more problems because then our friends are going to come over here and going to help. I didn't mean to call them in, not all of them. Uh, this is not how I meant to do this at all. Dang it. Try, try again. No! Punished immediately. Um, they're not going to tend to one us there, but they are going to hurt us. 4th of March, 24th of February. I think my one stake is just dead. Stay where you are. Try to live. Oh, they're not coming. Good. They afraid. First I was afraid. Um, but da -da -da -da. Can still keep some dip saved up. Don't want to. I don't know. It's not doing anything either way, I don't think. So we might just get even more neighbor bonus there. Probably not. But we could. I hope we sweet. I'll put those three siege pips to work, Lerakia. Why are our guys all terrible? Look at this guy. Zero, 010, zero, low trade efficiency, greedy. <laughs> what? I mean, what? So you guys need to just hold out here. It's very important. Give me that siege, please. Oh no, the state secrets. Get me the siege. Get me that siege. There we go. And we declared on these, unfortunately. The reason it's unfortunate is that that means that we um, can't just separate piece them out now and reduce the enemy threat to essentially non-existent. Maximum value, that's a pop-up for this now, that's very nice. I think we just go for joint grand oppose. Favor growth, no. No, no, I'm pretty sure it's uh, this one option here. Well, if we wanted unified warbands, there would be two options, but we don't. I don't think we do. Uh, so let's grab the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cohesion, schmohesion. Oh, it's, I forgot that this is a thing. That the more advances you have, the harder it is to get cohesion. Which I think makes sense as a game mechanic, but not so much as a, uh, well, from a flavor point of view. But it does make sense as a game mechanic. Uh, folks, 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 I need you to do that siege for me. You have three siege pips and you have the manpower to, you know, sustain this. So please continue sitting these folks down. Still really weirded out by that whole um, force limit thing. Reform native tribe, my butt. Come on, Sitch. It also kind of feels like it's going very slowly right now, even though I'm speed four. I mean, I guess I was on speed five before. Maybe that's just what's happening here, but... Um, why's my corruption growing? Oh, unbans research again. Whoops. Let's just take the dip tech then. Uh, that doesn't actually help because we still have bad admin tech. <laughs> so we're going to need that admin tech done. Do I want to refocus from mill? I probably can't yet, can I? No, I could. Could focus on admin. Or just not focus. Because we're getting into territories where this all this mill is just not really spendable, right? Next mill tech is going to be 80% extra just for the institutions. It's not a bad mill tech. But still, I think we don't wanna don't wanna keep rushing it. I think I'm gonna refocus on that man. Get that tech, get rid of the the problem there. Alright. The war is won. The question is do we wanna declare oh no, they are happy with the Camille Roy. Yeah, you have lots of friends, right? Yeah. I don't wanna declare that war. I just wanted to see whether it's reasonable to do before we, before we peace out here. How much money is there here? Nah, not worth staying around. You. <clears throat> you. <laughs> Humiliate. War reps. Trade power. 
Pitcher counter is not going to be worth anything. No. And I assume ducats are tons of inflation again. I wonder how this works. Maybe at some point I should read up on the calculation behind this. Uh, and you aligns to, I don't know, the Nianjin, because why not? And the Yongu, because why not? Actually, maybe I don't want to do these at all. Maybe I want to keep truth short. Hmm, nah. Nah, this will be fine. Really for themselves. Get out of my sight and give me all the power production, please. Police. And once the guy's back home, we talk to the wool now. And we show strength, right? Grab ourselves another hundred of each monarch power and grab a ton of power production. I think that's a very big yes. Do it. We should probably migrate. How's uh, Bayali looking? No longer devastated. Yeah, let's go. Hey, <laughs> this place, you know, see better times. Let's see what trade could we get here now? It's wool. It's not even wool now. So I assume now I'm not getting the modifier. Nope. Before we had grain here for some reason, we got that nice modifier. But now we don't. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what we're seeing, as always, please do hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And if you have anything else to say, then please do so down there in that comment section. Thank you for watching. See you, folks, next time.